so i'm back with another video and this video is super different but this is going to be a get ready with me um and talk through video um a lot of you guys always ask me can i do videos of me doing my makeup and i don't know how to edit at all so i just felt like a talk through and everything would be better for me and easier and then plus i have a lot like a lot of stuff to talk about so um all the products that i'm using in this video it'll be in the description bar because i don't really feel like keep on talking and telling y'all what i'm doing and what i'm using like i feel like it'll just be too much but i already did my eyebrows or whatever so i'm gonna just talk to y'all while i get ready for work because i have to be to work in a little bit so i'm gonna just talk about just all the stuff that i have going on so i used to record so much and I really love like recording and doing um, YouTube and everything for y'all, but lately has been so weird. So with me, how can I put it? Like with me being like on YouTube and making videos for YouTube and doing reviews and um, working a full time job is so hard. Like. At first, I can maintain it, but then, like, I feel like it just became a lot. Like, it just really became a lot. And I just got so frustrated to the point where I just kind of felt like I was shutting down. Um, I used to just have so much time, but it's like I've been more stressed because I've just been... I don't know like I've just been going through like a lot of stuff as far as work like my full-time job and like family stuff and feel like I just haven't had the time nor like the like positive like mindset or attitude or whatever um to do videos and stuff because I feel like if I'm not in a good mood that it shows and it's like I don't want to get on camera and then just look stupid and look like I'm not happy or like I'm just bullshit and like I'm just on here to be on here like I don't like, I just don't like stuff like that like I just don't like not not being in the zone like if that makes sense but, um, I don't know. Like, I've just been feeling so, not defeated, but I've just been feeling like, as of lately, that I'm just doing too much. And it's like, my thing is, I always do a lot, but lately it's kind of been like, um... How can I, like, how can I word this without sounding crazy? I just feel like no matter how much I do or no matter how, like, how, how much I put myself into something, it's never enough. So, that's just been my main issue lately. Like, I just feel like nothing is ever enough. And I feel like I don't get support, um not from like y'all because i get all the support in the world from y'all and like people on my instagram and just i get support but at the same time it's kind of like people like in like my real life like i don't have many friends um i don't talk to many people so it's kind of like when stuff goes on whether it's exciting or if it's just you know, like, if it's stuff that I'm going through, like, with my family or just personal issues. Like, I feel like I don't ever have anyone to turn to. I can't, like, go to my family. Um, I don't have friends. Like, I have my boyfriend. And it's just been to the point where I feel like me always telling him everything kind of comes off as, like, I'm complaining all the time. Then I feel like I don't want to annoy him but then i don't know it's just so stupid like i hope I make, i'm making sense but um 
I just haven't been feeling it. Like, I just really haven't been feeling it lately. It's just like, no matter how hard I try to, you know, put my all into something, it's like something just shuts me down. Like, it's stuff that just, and then lately I've been doing more um, to just like put myself out there and I've been like coming up with a whole lot of different ideas and in my mind I have all of these things that I want to do but it's always something that just is in the way like um, for example um, me and my boyfriend were moving out um, really soon we're moving together and that was just supposed to be like an amazing time for me like uh, this was my first time being on my own and you know I've never been apartment hunting before so it's just like that's exciting like that's something you know to be happy about and it's like as soon as I got to the point like okay yeah we're gonna do this some family shit happened and it just kind of just killed my vibe like I mean we're still moving um it's nothing financial like it's not like that but it's just like family stuff i feel like it's always something that just gets in the way or like lets me down and it kind of just frustrates me it just really frustrates me because it's just like it's it's always it's always that like it's always something that's in my way like it's just always something in my way and me, I'm not an emotional person. I don't cry often. Um, a lot of people in my family have probably seen me cry like once or twice. I'm not a very emotional person. I kind of keep things bottled in. And that's not, I know that's not good, but that's how, that's kind of how it's been since I was younger. Um, I'm not an emotional, I'm not an emotional person. So, when things happen, even if, you know, I feel kind of, you know, defeated, I just don't, I don't say much. I kind of shut down and I just be like, oh, like, well, whatever, like, whatever. But, like, lately, things have just been kind of, like, taking a toll on me because it's like, I just feel like I'm failing. And failing... Is my biggest fear and then it's like if I talk to people like the small amount of people that I do talk to they're like oh no um, like you're good you're you know you do so much and you do this and that and it's no way you you're not gonna be successful like I know like I understand that but it's just like I don't know it's like I feel like I don't get enough done because I'm juggling so many things and it just frustrates me like it just really frustrates me and it's like me not putting up videos and stuff for YouTube as much sometimes I'm like okay like can I still do this or can I still I don't know like I just feel like it's just frustrating for me sorry y'all hold on this is I'm about to concentrate really hard to put this eyeliner on but I normally use like a gel, um, <laughs> a gel liner for my eyes, but I left the cap off and it dried out, so I had to use my handy dandy pencil. So yeah, I just have been feeling just so just defeated and like I'm not doing enough and it's so annoying, like it's super annoying. And I don't know. Like it's just it's just so annoying. And it's like it's so hard for me. I know I'm all over the place right now. It's just so hard for me to 
not express how I feel, like just really like, well, yeah, exactly that. Express how I feel and talk. Um, I don't think y'all understand, like my YouTube and then the people who support me, it means so much to me because in like my real life, like the real people that I like know personally, not saying that y'all are fake people, but um, I feel like nobody supports me or like nobody tells me well my mom does my boyfriend does nobody really tells me that they're proud of something that i did or things that i'm doing because i've really came a long way um in life and i'm not gonna get on here like with no sob story or nothing like that like i'm not gonna do all that but i've really been through a good amount of stuff I'm only 21 and I've seen some things at a young age that like I was kind of forced to you know grow up a little faster than than normal but it's just like everybody goes through everybody goes through something but it's just like for the thing that I overcame I feel like nobody really get like not give me props but no nobody in my family like really sits and tells me like you know like i'm proud of you for doing this and you know i'm happy for you you know it, it just never comes off like that um in my family or like you know my friends either and i feel like i have like a lot of friends who just are not consistent like i feel like i'm a good friend but it's just like i don't let certain things slide like if you do something to me then i am I'm not going to cut you off. I'm going to just distance myself. And my biggest thing is just being hurt by people. And I'm just not going to give anybody the opportunity to hurt me or hurt my feelings or do any of that. Um, I kind of shut down from people. Like, I just really shut down when people do things to me. So, it's just like, as far as... Family, I feel like I do the same thing. But back in the day, the things that my family would do and say, it would really hurt my feelings. But now, I don't let it, I don't let it bother me. I just kind of just distance myself and I just kind of just stay in my own lane just to avoid, just to avoid everything, you know. Um, it's not like I beef with my family or I'm ignorant to my family or I'm rude to my family. Like, it's nothing like that. But at the same time, it's just like, I just, sometimes I just feel like I don't have anyone except for my boyfriend. And that's kind of, I don't know. Because I feel like, like me and my boyfriend are super connected. Like, we're super connected. And if I feel some type of way he knows i feel some type of way like he knows and i feel like if i constantly tell him things that are going on or how i feel i feel like i just come off like as just a negative ass person like oh my god like something is always wrong with her ass and it's just like how we are if i feel some type of way about something like he knows and i feel like that kind of puts a damper on what he has going on and like i don't want to do that i don't i don't want to do that like i don't want to be just the problem child you know and i don't want to always feel like oh my god uh, what now like what the fuck is wrong with her now like <laughs> that's how it sometimes feels but i mean i know he doesn't feel that way but it's kind of like huh like i don't know and I've just been, I've just been having like, I don't know. I've just been feeling super just weird like lately. It's like things that I should be happy about. I'm just like, whatever, like something's going to happen anyway. So why be excited? And then that's just not the way to think or live. Like I've accomplished so much just on my own and with the support of like my boyfriend and like you know my mom and stuff like that but it's just like I always I always just feel alone like I just feel like I don't have like close friends and I don't have like 
a close family to where it's like oh my god no, we should celebrate you did this or if something happens i don't call like friends like oh my god like this happened this oh my god like it's not like that i just feel like such a loner and then it's a lot of people like oh my god i don't have no friends it's just like i've had close friends but it's like and i mean like close friends like friends that i've known for years and it's like they just did something to me or once i started doing something you know in life they kind of just looked at me different and then treated me differently and you know when you have people like that you have to let them go like regardless of how hard it might be and all of that but it's just like all of like my close friends like we faded away and it's not like a couple friends it's pretty much all of my friends like my friends i used to believe in having friends like for years like like best friend like you known for, for forever like you know but it's just like all of my friends that you know i have bonded with and you know had like a connection with like for a long time it's kind of like they just turned on me or stopped liking me or didn't support me or we grew apart or whatever just whatever like whatever the situation you guys know like how that goes like with friends like you know but i feel like it just took like a toll on me like as far as how i handle situations and how i am um i don't know I don't know. It's just like sometimes like I just wanna have people like positive people around me. Like my boyfriend supports everything that I do. He supports everything. He is always cheering me on. He motivates me more than anybody I know. He motivates me to just be a better me and then it's like when I get to the point where I just oh I want to give up I don't want to do anything anymore he just motivates me and sometimes I just feel like oh my god like what like what would I do without you like who would I who would I talk to if you weren't in my life or what would I be doing would I have stopped would I not do YouTube anymore would I not make wigs anymore would I not like just it just makes me think like damn like what would I what would I do like if you know you weren't here to just like stare me in the right direction oh no and this lip color by the way guys is from color rain and it's called swerve and I've been getting um, lip products from them for a while. That's what it looks like. Ooh, ooh. That's what it looks like. It's called Swerve. Love it. I love like dark purple lips on me. Like, I don't know. I just love it. I wear it a lot. But, um, oh my God, y'all. I got this freaking um, sharpener from my job um, at Target the other day a NYX sharpener and the sharpener that I've been using sucks so bad it broke my pencil so I'm like let me just pick up this oh my god like do y'all see this this freaking oh, focus oh it's not gonna focus for y'all hmm. well it's popping I freaking love this pencil sharpener and this is Night Night Moth by MAC. Uh, this is like my fifth one. I love this. This is like the only lip pencil I own. Oh, and Cork from MAC. So a lot of people always line their lips and put the color on like after the lip liner. But I put the lip on before the liner, if that makes sense. Oh, 
shit. I got liner all on my bottom lip. Uh, sorry y'all, I do the most when it comes to my lips because they're big and you know. But yeah, I don't know. So, I want to basically start back getting into videos and getting, you know, a lot of content out. Because I have so many wigs to review. I have so much stuff to do. I just want to, like, get back out there and, you know, like, just to regain just my confidence. And then that's another thing that's been bothering me why I don't, like, record and post as much. Because I gain weight and... Majority of the people who noticed it, they'll say stuff like, oh my god, like, you know, you're so thick and you look like this and oh my god. But I just feel so fat because I'm so used to being like 95 pounds and it's just like over like a course, I've just been gaining weight. Like, and I'm just like, oh my god, like I'm super self-conscious and I don't know, it's just dumb like I just feel like oh my god like I'm so fat ill that looks disgusting that looks I don't know it's just weird my boyfriend is like oh my god like no you're not like he gets so mad but I'm super self-conscious I'm just I don't know I feel like people judge me based on like what they see like on social media which is I mean you have no choice because like you know you don't know me personally but it's just like people just think like oh my god like life is so great and blah 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 but it's just like people even youtubers like we are real people like we go through the same things as the, like any other person and i'm a female too so i go through you know just like the insecurities and all of that but i just be feeling like Ugh, like some days I don't want to like I just don't want to do anything and then I'll have days where I'm just like oh I, I want to do this like I'm going hard I'm gonna do this I'm gonna get up I'm gonna get myself together and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do this I'm gonna make it happen but then it's just like other days I'm just like I just feel like I said like I just feel so defeated and like I can't I don't know it's just it's just crazy it's like I don't know if I can, I don't know. I don't know if things will get better as rapidly as I want them to. But I know, you know, everything happens for a reason. And you go through things and it's like learning experiences. But it's just like, I don't want y'all to feel like I've just been neglecting y'all. Like I just, I got my little 12,000 subscribers and I don't mess with y'all no more. It's not that. I've just been going through so much like i've just been going through so much i've been feeling so just overwhelmed and so just unsupported and so like i'm not doing enough like i always have excuses like i'm always complaining and it's really been taking a toll on me to the point i just started having really bad headaches every day painful like crying headaches like migraines and it's just like I need to regain like my my like my confidence level my like how I was in the beginning I need I just want to get back to that place of just being just being so ambitious and just being just like I'm gonna get it I don't care what nobody thinks but it's just like things have just been taking a toll on me because it's like I've been doing so I've been doing so many new things that I'm proud of and it's just like by not having the support or people who cares, it hurts my feelings. And instead of me crying about it, I kind of just shut down. But it's like, the more and the better I do, it's just like, damn, like nobody, like, nobody cares. Just nobody cares. And it just takes a toll on me. And I don't know. Um, but I'm going to start recording a lot more because like me actually getting this out you guys have no idea how much this is helping me right now so just be talking to y'all um it is just really helping me and i want to just get out there and i want to keep recording i want to do new content i want to learn how to edit i want to it's so much that 
I want to do. I want to. I want my YouTube channel to grow beyond hair reviews. I want to do so much. I want to do hair tutorials. I want to do get ready with me. I want to do clothing hauls. I, like, I just want my YouTube channel to grow. And it's like now, once like that, I'm finally just getting everything out instead of just sitting there like, hmm, it'll be okay eventually. I just feel a lot better that I'm, you know, venting and talking to you guys and just letting you guys know where I've been. Like, I just been going through a lot um but that is just pretty much it this is what my face looks like i left my eyelashes <laughs> over there and i didn't want to get up and go get them but i'm gonna put on some lashes like the ardell wispies but this is pretty much my finished look like my go-to look it's not much but this is how i want to wear my face today this is what i want to do my hair is from white label hair this is eurasian um loose wave and then i put perm rods in it and i wand curled it these curls are like three or four days old um i'll be doing a video on this hair really soon and having it posted up for you guys but thank y'all for listening to me and letting me vent how long we've been talking 26 minutes oh my goodness if y'all want y'all can skip this whole video if y'all don't want to listen to me talk about my issues it's fine sorry <laughs> but yeah um i have to go and order some chinese food for me and my boyfriend before i go to work because i'm hungry but thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video so this is the finished look you guys i went and i got my light so i can have a little bit better lighting so my camera overheated toward the end of the video so i'm not even sure where it stopped at because i haven't even watched the video yet um because i basically was just venting but um i put my eyelashes on i have on my ardell wispies and i kind of toned my hair down a little bit so it wasn't so big but i'm about to eat and then i'm gonna go to work so thank you guys so much for just listening and let me that i feel so much better um and i have a lot of content and videos coming really really soon so i will see you guys in my next video bye